I'm excited to welcome you to the absolute best video on the JavaScript console you'll find anywhere on YouTube. In this video, I cover everything you need to know in detail and use interactive animations, beautiful illustrations, and professional editing to ensure you remain engaged in order to maximize your learning. So let's jump in. So what is the console? The console is a tool in browsers that provide developers with direct access to the JavaScript engine. The JavaScript engine is behind the scenes in the browser, and the console is a tool that gives us access to it. In our juice bar analogy, we can think of it like this. When you order a juice, the person working in the juice bar has a point of sale terminal, which is a way they can interact with the kitchen. Using the point of sale terminal, they can send direct instructions to the kitchen, and they can also get order updates from the kitchen. So the person standing in front of the point of sale terminal doesn't access the kitchen, but they're able to send instructions there and get order updates. In terms of JavaScript, the console, which we're gonna see soon, does the exact same thing with the JavaScript engine, which we can't see, but is inside the browser. Using the console, we're able to manually run code outside of a script. And we're also able to view log messages outputted from scripts. Log messages are written inside scripts and provide us with important messages about how our code is running. So let's go check out the console in the browser. So I'm on this page, clickup.com. I'm now gonna right click and click inspect to open up DevTools. If DevTools is new to you, you can check out my video in the description below. Now in my HTML and CSS full course, we worked a lot on this elements tab. Where on the left, we have the underlying HTML of this page. And on the right, we have the CSS styles. In the JavaScript full course, we're gonna be working a lot in the console. As I mentioned earlier, the console is where we're able to interact directly with the JavaScript engine. When the ClickUp page loads, you can see a whole bunch of messages here. And these are those log messages I mentioned earlier being sent from the JavaScript engine to the console. So we can see important information about how our code is running. We're gonna come and write some of our own log messages soon, but this code has been written inside the script file. So we as developers can see important updates. Inside this red box are error messages, which we're gonna be talking about later on in the course. So the console kind of provides us a window into the JavaScript engine, outputting error messages, as well as specific log messages that we write inside our JavaScript files. Now I'm gonna clear my console by clicking this icon over here. As I mentioned earlier, the second thing we can do inside the console is write JavaScript code outside of a script. So for example, if I go six plus six and hit enter, what I've done here is actually write some JavaScript. Six plus six is being executed inside the JavaScript engine to give me a result of 12. Now, obviously this is very basic, but it does show that we're able to write JavaScript code, not inside of a script, but directly inside the console. So let's now talk more about how we can write those log messages. We do this by printing to the console. This is used to output messages to the console, helping to identify issues, track behavior, and verify the program is working as expected. Inside our JavaScript files, we print a message to the console like this. We write console.log. This is what we call a JavaScript function. And we're gonna be talking about functions in a lot more detail later on in the JavaScript full course. After console.log, we add a set of parentheses. And inside our parentheses, we add some text in quotation marks with the message, hello world. The quotation marks can either be single or double. Now, just an important note, as you start your JavaScript journey, in the beginning, we can't output anything in the browser as it is a more advanced topic. So we use console.log to get started with JavaScript and view results in the console. So when you become a professional JavaScript developer, you mainly use console.log to output messages to identify issues, track behavior, and verify programs are working correctly. However, at the start of your JavaScript journey, we're not gonna be able to modify web page content using JavaScript. It's a more advanced topic we're gonna to be covering later on in the course. So to get started with JavaScript, so we can do something, we're gonna be outputting the results of our code to the console using console.log. But I did just wanna highlight, this is not actually the main purpose of console.log. We just have to use it in the beginning because we don't have the skills yet to be able to output any results directly on the web page. The reason I wanted to highlight this is because when I was taught JavaScript, it really wasn't clear to me what console.log is even doing. Why am I outputting all of my results to this funny place in the browser? 
why am I not outputting it on the web page where I actually want the user to see the results? So just be mindful, we're gonna be using console.log a lot at the start of the course to output all our results. But as we build up our skill base, we're gonna be outputting our results to the actual web page and using console.log for what it's intended to be. That is output messages to identify issues in our code. So let's go play around with console.log in VS Code. So in my desktop, I'm gonna come and add a new folder and call it printing. Inside VS Code, I'm gonna open this folder and inside the directory, I'm gonna add a new file called index.html. I'll grab the boilerplate code by hitting exclamation mark enter. In our working directory, I'm then gonna create a new file called script.js. Inside index.html, I'm gonna grab our script tags, I'm gonna grab our source attribute and link it to the script.js file. In script.js, I'm gonna type console.log. I'll then open some parentheses. You can use double or single quotation marks. For this example, I'll just use single and I'm gonna type the program is working well. So let's check this out in the browser. I'm gonna right click, inspect and select my console. And you can see over here, I'm outputting the message, the program is working well. Now, as I mentioned, in the early stage of your JavaScript journey, we're gonna be actually outputting results from our script, as opposed to writing typical log messages. So let's wrap up by building a summary card, the console. For this summary card, I'm gonna add back in the diagram I did in the previous video about how a web page works. In this setup, I'm now gonna come and add the console, which is part of the browser UI. It's something we can actually see and interact with in the browser. The console provides us direct access to the JavaScript engine from the part of the browser we can see. And this gives us the ability to execute JavaScript code outside of a script, as well as view log messages written inside scripts that are being executed inside the JavaScript engine. If you've enjoyed this style of teaching and are looking at mastering JavaScript, you can join me in my JavaScript full course, which is available for free on my channel. The course is designed for complete beginners and covers everything you need to know to code JavaScript at a professional level. In the course, you'll experience the same high quality teaching and build a whole range of real life projects from scratch. Join me today and also make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay in the loop with new releases. See you in the JavaScript full course.